Welcome to Sandwiches of History, Vacation Edition. Uh, our guest host today graduated from the Cordon Bleu Cooking School with the highest honors and went on to become an executive chef. Of course, that was after her initial career of acting, where she appeared in TV shows like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and movies like How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Today, she's a co-founder of Kind Kitchen Group, which aims to drive social change through community engagement and food. Uh, and her Instagram lives are always a lot of fun. Please welcome Chef Cicely Sierra. Hey, y'all. Chef Cicely here, and I'm excited to be back for another year of filling in for Barry for Sandwiches of History. Last year, I did one of my favorite sandwiches, the Monte Cristo, and I saw your comments. So this year, I'm sticking to the script. We are going to be doing his sandwich from 1001 Sandwiches, 1936. You ready to do this? So this recipe calls for one whipped egg white, and then it says to add half a cup of cottage cheese. And then it says to add egg white and cheese and beat until fluffy. I'm gonna work on this part and then I'll report back. Well, let's just do it in the moment. All right, so now that, now that we've got our cottage cheese and egg whites mixed, so now that we've got it as, as, as whipped as we're gonna get it, let me tell you what's in my bowl because I pre-measured everything. So it is three tablespoons of chopped pimento, a pinch of cayenne, this is nuts, um, one cup chopped chicken, um, two hard boiled eggs, 10 chopped olives, it did not say what color, um, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, and the juice, of one lemon, so let's do that. And then hot butter toast, which I got my pan going to get ready to do hot butter toast. Now this looks nuts. I'm not even I'm not even gonna lie. What what has Barry gotten me into? Oh my god. It smells not like something I would eat. You know, just to be awesome. Okay. Okay. So it has to mix this together. And then we're gonna, once we get our butter toast, which I'm gonna take you over to the stove. Over to the stove, is right there. Over to the stove, that's what we're gonna do. What on earth? What on earth? It's a little runny. It looks a little runny right now. So I'm hoping that once you put it on heat, um, the egg white will like. All right, so this is hot butter toast, but I realized that I actually do not, use a toaster, so this may be a fail on my part. So I'm gonna do buttered toast the way I know how. Now I'm gonna keep everything in the pan, like keep the pan hot, because it says we we, we have to heat the our filling mixture. It just says to heat it. It doesn't say who, what, when, where, why, or how. And then it says we spread it on our toast, and we eat it. Like, do I really need this much on the sandwich? No! <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Surprisingly, this is not, this, this ain't, this ain't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Wow, I'm shocked, wow. Okay, so I will say, it's really acidic from, from the lemon juice, a little sour. So I would probably do butter the bread and put the mayo on it. Like I would leave the mayo separate. Um, leaving the mayo separate would be, let it be like less acidic. I also made it on sourdough bread. I would eat this. It definitely is like a good breakfast sandwich, believe it or not. I'm gonna be honest. I was not looking forward to this, but it's kind of crazy, it's kind of good. I don't even mix like spinach in here. It definitely feels like you wanna be healthy and it's like you getting all your protein and all the good carbs and fat in here. It feels like that. You know what? I rate this. I'm not gonna lie y'all and I feel like I'm being generous. If I had sturdier bread, I feel like I'd give this an eight out of 10. I'm definitely here for his sandwich in 1001 Sandwiches, 1936. This was not bad. This is a winner winner chicken dinner. I hope Barry enjoys his vacation. This was great. Will I make it again? I might. I might do this again. Um, see y'all next year. <laughs> Peace out.